Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can increase your confidence. So confidence is a skill and some of us have a lot of confidence and some of us start at a really, really low point. Um, and it's something that I really struggled with growing up and I still do struggle with somewhat today um, maybe you think oh, I'm doing YouTube must be, must be quite a confident guy I've got a lot better speaking on camera etc etc um, but I've definitely started from a position which I'd say I was far disadvantaged compared to like a lot of my peers and stuff like growing up I really struggled at school college university making friends I was I was probably like the shyest guy in the room um, I didn't say a lot. I didn't really like talking to people. I'd avoid any type of like uncomfortable situation. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out there who will be able to relate. Um, and there'll be so obviously some people out there who have started like they're just naturally like really confident. They've had an environment. They've had really like confident people around them. Maybe a lot of masculine figures. So it's naturally become quite easy to them. Uh, but for a lot of people, especially in my generation that I've grown up, you can see that they lack confidence, lack in self-esteem, lack just self-belief in themselves. Uh, and it is really, it really is like a gradual process to kind of master the skill of confidence. Um, and particularly if you want to be the guy like I want to be, like being that kind of leader, inspirational figure to help change the lives of other people, you're going to have to develop your confidence. If you want women, you're going to have to develop your confidence. If you want to make influential friends, like if you want to be successful in business, it's, it comes from confidence. You're going to have to develop that skill. Actually, you just won't get what you want out of life and it's going to make you very miserable. Um, so you, you can either put yourself in those uncomfortable positions which won't feel good or you can go your whole life with just live in that fit, like kind of life that you know you could have done so much more because of sit social situations you've or like oh you kind of had the identity oh, I'm just a shy guy I'm an introvert I don't I'm just not good at it well obviously you're not like if you tell yourself that it's gonna you're gonna you're manifesting that thought and you're never gonna get better at anything in life if you just like have that mindset that well yeah I'm shy so I'm not I'm not good at talking to people so I just won't try like I could have easily said that and I wouldn't be here today I wouldn't be making content I would not be the person I am today where people don't even consider that 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 was once me like it's just it's just your identity like it's so important to stuff like this um and there's there's no easy way to just like increase like your confidence like it's not a clickbait video or anything like this i will give you some good steps and stuff that i've used in my life that has helped me increase my confidence but it's it's not a, an event where it's just like yep click my fingers i'm i'm confident i just wake up the next day and i go from the shy guy to the most confident guy in the room it doesn't happen like that and i've still got a lot of work to do i'm still by no means like where I want to be in terms of my confidence I still think I've got a lot of progress to make but compared to the guy I once was I'm very impressed I'm very happy with myself um, but you have to remember this and um, the steps I'm going to give you is really dependent on what level of confidence you are currently at because I know there's a lot of people who won't even talk like they just avoid any type of social situations they don't like going out they don't like partying they don't like whatever it is like and that's no way to live with social creatures at the end of the day uh, and a lot of people just come become like recluse, recluse nowadays um so the first thing that i think you kind of need to do for a lot of people is literally just go outside it's as simple as that it might might sound like ridiculous to a lot of people and like i say there will be people at different levels of confidence and where they want to be where they want to go etc etc but for a lot of people they are inside so much of their day and you can have all these like online communities and all of that stuff is good but it's just not the same as like interaction public face to face where you know there's someone there like right in front of you and you know their reaction is going to come immediately uh, it's just so much more different it's a natural way organic way to kind of live and that's the way 
I would always want to meet people. Um, and I just don't think you're going to increase your confidence too much behind like a screen or anything like that. Um, so yeah, like I say, go outside is the first step. And then the next step is just, like I say, gradually increasing that. So the next thing I want you to do is just like give people eye contact and smile at them when you kind of walk past them. You'll be surprised. A lot of people don't do this. I don't know if it probably might not be a confidence thing. It might be just more they're quite rude and ignorant. But for me, whenever I'm walking past someone, I always try and give them some eye contact and, and smile at them because like at the end of the day, you never know how someone's day is going. That could honestly change how they feel for the rest of the day they might be feeling really low and you just like give them a smile and say like how you doing something like that literally it could be the smallest smallest thing and it could change someone's day and to know that that you, that was from your small little interaction like it feels really nice it, it feels great and i'm sure everyone would want to feel that at the end of the day um, but i do notice this i go to the gym and I, I always like give people eye contact and walking down the street giving people eye contact smiling at them and I'd probably say 20% or so will probably like look back and maybe smile or like even give me eye contact anyway. A lot of people are just like fucking like head down, head down. I don't think this, like I say, is that much of a confidence thing. I think people are just like distracted and in a world of their own these days. Um, um, but then, yeah, like I say, so we go outside, we, we smile at people and we give them eye contact. And then the next stage just say hi to them just say like hello like how are you doing like just say hi you're right or something like that anything along those lines and hopefully they'll be nice and give you just a normal reply back and be like yeah i'm good man how are you anything like this and we've gone through three steps here but overall from the start of being a recluse and just staying inside on computer games not talking to anyone feeling low self-esteem low confidence we've gone from someone who can just easily just walk past someone smile give them eye contact say hello that's that's a big we've made a lot of progress going from stage zero to stage three sorry guys just had a bit of an issue there with the camera but anyway back to what i was saying the three-step process we've made a lot of progress in that time we've managed to go from the guy who's a recluse and then now we're speaking to people going outside we're talking to people and this gradually becomes a lot easier because inside of us, there's something called a socioometer. I think that's that's the name. Obviously, it's not like a real something inside, but it's some, it, you'll get the gist of it. So say like a thermometer, this like would measure our our temperature, how like well we are and stuff like that. So a socioometer will kind of measure how social we're feeling in that instant. So maybe for me like i notice this quite a lot if i've had quite a long day i've been outside with a lot of people and then i'll come home maybe later on in the day my socialometer will be really low i'll be like oh, I, I don't really want to speak to people i kind of just want to be on my own because naturally for myself i'm quite introverted i would say i'm i really do like my time on my own but at the same time i do like spending time with my friends and family so i'm quite i'm quite mixed but i really do I'm really happy like just spending time on my own and um, I don't like being like around people for the whole day <clears throat> so if I spent a lot of time in social situations throughout a day then I kind of just want my own space um, and for a lot of people maybe if they're just kind of like base level is like so low their social ometer is just really low throughout the day they're gonna really struggle when it comes to if it comes to something like a big event like coming going out to like a party or they're in a bar or something there's lots of people around them or like a dinner so by doing like this three step process that i've already mentioned if you're just doing that throughout your day your socioometer is going to be so much higher it's going to be like a lot easier for you to start interacting with people there because you've already done it the other things become a lot less daunting and i always think if you kind of put yourself this is a bit different but if you kind of put yourself in a really uncomfortable situation the worst case scenario then anything after that becomes a lot easier in life maybe like i don't know say you go out like camping or something in like the worst possible conditions and it's absolutely awful and then the next time you go it's raining a bit but for you that feels like nothing because you've already had the worst case scenario but for a lot of people that would be like, oh, I can't, like, they've only kind of done it in, like, the best possible conditions where it's nice and relaxing and all of this stuff. But you've done it in the worst, so you know what it's like. And 
that can kind of relate to like different areas of your life just for example and also say say you do something that's quite this is really uncomfortable you don't like doing so for a lot of people and me i like cold water like having a cold shower in the morning is something that i really i don't look forward to but i know it's something i kind of need to do so like once i've done that i feel like i can do like other things that seemed a bit more daunting in the day um i say like for, for when it started like recording videos and stuff like that i'd be able to like just do it a lot easier and just get like work done a lot more because I've done like there's not really going to be much that's going to be harder throughout the day than have, doing that um so I think doing living like that is really like positive and I think you'll really see the benefits if you start doing it like day by day by day so obviously I've only really covered going from like a recluse like a guy who's just not going out to like a basic level of like speaking to people becoming more confident um, but now I kind of want to like, advance this a bit more because I know there's people out there who are, most people should be past this stage anyway. Um, so this is when you're going to need to put yourself in some uncomfortable situations. Like if you really want the gains from being confident, then you're going to have to do this. Um, so I want you to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable every single day. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be a social situation. You don't have to go like up to a girl in the gym like a lot of people say you should do. I don't think that's a good thing to do, really. Um, I mean, you can if you want. That will definitely help increase your confidence. But it doesn't have to be like talking to strangers, although I think that is probably the best method. Um, but it could be something, like I said, like having like, if you really don't like water, like a cold shower, something you haven't really done. Maybe going to the gym and lifting a weight that you think like you can't lift. And you just go for it and then maybe you fail but you but you'll feel so much better because you know like you put yourself in that uncomfortable position and then when it comes to doing it again you won't really feel it as much it like lessens each time um so yeah i think doing stuff like that it, it really has helped me um and you will help but naturally your brain will be like oh i don't want to do it because you know like oh, people it's like it's part of like your primal instinct will be like oh you kind of been judged by like the the tribe and stuff you just don't want to be seen as that guy who's like failed and obviously your ego is probably going to get in the way for a lot of people especially like young young men like they don't want to do it because they their ego just gets in the way um and i'm sure a lot of people watching this will be will be that guy so i don't know what else it could be maybe like posting yourself on social media wearing something different just something new that you haven't done before um it will honestly like just a lot of people don't know because they just don't put themselves in uncomfortable situations and that's how you grow you don't grow from comfort you grow from like challenge and change and difficult hard times that's what it's all about like i learned so much about this and my overall message that i want to give you from becoming more confident is confidence comes from competency i'm so bad at saying that word but i got it right there um once you start to really understand this, that becoming competent will make you a lot more confident. It honestly just just changes your like outlook on life. Um, obviously, like you're not gonna be like confident talking to that girl you really like because you don't you're not competent at it. You're not you've not leveled up that skill like you would in a video game. It's just the same. And say like if you did something for a thousand hours you would become competent at it therefore confident at it anything you did like me doing this how do you think i become confident i've gained competency at doing it so that has increased my confidence and anything that i did anything that you would do that you did for a long period of time you would eventually become confident at that so i think that is something if you really kind of grasp that and listen to confidence breeds com competency breeds confidence and just keep doing that throughout your life it is the key and i think confidence is is so important in life and you see those guys like even if you don't like them see people like like andrew t or uh, conor mcgregor ronaldo like these guys yeah maybe you don't like them or whatever i don't i don't give a fuck but like these guys are successful as fuck and a lot of that or yeah uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic one who just came to mind these guys like have that confidence that belief in themselves and that is a massive part to success if they didn't like talk so much and run their mouth or whatever it is then they wouldn't be that success maybe you don't want to be that guy but you can kind of see what I'm trying to say like it makes you a lot more 
successful I think in life it will unlock doors like I say maybe if you don't not just want it for women but like business there's going to be some area in your life where you're gonna have to increase your confidence really um and I know like a lot of people do need to kind of relate to this message and I re- it is something like really close to me I feel because I I remember when I was that guy I couldn't talk to anyone now I just I can talk to anyone nowadays like I don't really care I'll talk to them have a good conversation I know how to talk to people now I didn't before um and I know how that feels it honestly is not a nice feeling at all uh and like I say I know there's a lot of young young men young women out there too who really do lack confidence um so hopeful hopefully even just doing those three step process that I've mentioned will really help you out uh, and then you can start to gradually move on put yourself in those uncomfortable positions do an uncomfortable task every single day Uh, And you'll really start to see your confidence increase. But you've got to put yourself in those uncomfortable positions, guys. Um, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to do like a course on confidence soon because I feel like my kind of journey, my confidence journey has been something that would help a lot of people. So maybe if you'd be interested in that, like leave me a comment below. So I hope this video has helped, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.